October 25th, 1986, several dozen makeup and special effects artists gathered together at the Park Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles to participate in the first annual Monster Makers Contest. Their requirements were to have worked in motion pictures and to possess the patience and know-how to create an original being from out of their craziest dreams or worst nightmares. Each contestant had several months to prepare their original creation in one of three categories. The strange and exotic beings which were seen on this night will not be soon forgotten. I came up with the idea of this contest while I was attending the Halloween party of the makeup artist. I was sorry to see these great works appreciated by a few. I thought, how can I provide an opportunity for these emerging artists to show their work to a larger audience? The answer lay in this evening, a celebration of our work. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered together to witness a contest of a most unusual nature. This is not a beauty contest. This is a gathering of monstrous talent who now vie for the world's weirdest trophy and one of several special makeup kits donated by Friends Beauty Supply. Now, we will all please stop standing upon your heads. <laughs> You know, something really marvelous has happened with makeup. We've entered into the second great era of professional makeup. I think the first one really started back in the mid-30s in films when makeup artists learned to use foam latex to make appliances, things that changed the face three-dimensionally. Uh, and uh, it's only in the last 10 or 15 years that we've entered into a new era, uh, a second era, and it's been a quantum leap forward. And I'm referring to the uh, understanding by makeup artists of many new technologies that enable them to go far beyond what was possible before. Uh, making change o heads, heads that change right on camera, doing different uh, transformations that, uh, where almost anything can happen. I'm being followed and uh, um, uh, exceeded uh, uh, by the younger generation. And it's, it's marvelous to see, and I'm just, I'm thrilled to be here and to see uh, what the young people are doing. They're adding new inspiration and new creativity and raising this art craft to even higher levels. It is perhaps the reason why we're here tonight, because we're celebrating uh, the, the, the advent of this recognition of the true marvels that makeup can create today. And I think it's only the beginning. Let us start out with a gentleman who has given us many, many bizarre and grotesque memories, Mr. Tom Berman. What a thrill. What a thrill to be here with the, the best in the world in the future. Best in the world. Now let us welcome a gentleman who has thrilled us so recently with aliens, so many other dazzling effects, Mr. Stan Winston. What a thrill. <laughs> what, what a thrill. Have a good time. Now, shall I introduce the gentleman who has given us so many thrills and surprises from werewolves to perfect apes? 
Mr. Rick Baker. I, I hope the big earthquake doesn't come now. I just think what it would do to the film industry, you know, the film industry, the present and the future. It's scary. And lastly, the gentleman considered to be, of course, the dean of makeup artists. He has been an inspiration to all of us, Mr. Dick Smith. Good evening, everybody. You know, Halloween's a really very special holiday for makeup artists. I, I think it's even better than Christmas. There's, there's not many makeup artists in the United States, probably, probably a couple of hundred, but uh, on Halloween, thousands of people celebrate the art of makeup, our art. So it's really our holiday, and I think we should, we should make it official. I think we should, we should have this event every year as the official opening for the festivities of Halloween. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Now that the judges are seated, the contest will begin. I, 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 I would like to point out that quite a number of the people you will see on stage this evening are merely models. The makeup artists themselves have simply applied. Uh, they, they will be seen later in the show with their creations. We will begin with the appliance category. An appliance, which is a foam rubber prosthetic that is glued to the actor's face or hand or whatever part of his anatomy uh, that that is is articulated by the actor's facial movements please enter contestant number two Dale Brady Contestant number three, John Price. <laughs> Let's talk about trash, like aliens. Why the heck are they making the movies about these people crawling across our borders and winning our state lotteries? That really hacks me off. Contestant number four, Barney Bowman! Number five, Mark Siegel. I am called Dr. Triceratops, professor of prehistory. 65 million years ago, my ancestors, the dinosaurs, were destroyed, were wiped off the face of the earth, utterly destroyed after 150 million years of, of dominance. And do you know why? The truth is, we were destroyed by your ancestors. I hope you are proud, for you won't be proud long. We are coming back. We are coming back in all our power and our glory. Contestant number six, Linda Nutstad. My name is Urail. That is all I have. I mean, I've been this 
business 20 years. I made up the term special makeup effects. Not you, buddy. You're going to get my lawyer. 